Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to prove that the volume of a sphere is V is equal to 4 divided by 3 times pi times the radius cubed. So let's say that we have a sphere looking like this. And if you cut the sphere right here, and you look at the cut, you're going to get a circle. So if we do a triangle connecting from this point to this point, this is the length of the radius. And from here to here is x, and from here to here is y. Now, there's one formula that you need to know, which is the volume formula. So the volume of any shape is the same as the integral from a to b of a of x dx, where a of x is the area of this cross section, so the area of that circle. So that's the first thing we need to find. We know that the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Now, the radius of this cross section is y. We can rewrite this as pi times y squared. Now, we need to rewrite y in terms of x. So if we look at this triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. r square is equal to x square plus y square. So y square is the same as r square minus x square, and y is equal to plus and minus r square minus x square. And so we want to rewrite y in terms of x. Therefore, the area is equal to pi times plus and minus the square root of r square minus x square to the power of 2, which will simply be pi times the radius square minus x square. And so we are ready to substitute this formula into our volume equation. So the volume is equal to negative r to r because we want to find the volume from here to here, right? So this is negative r, that's going to be r. And the area formula that we just found was pi times the radius squared minus x squared, dx. Since pi is just a number, we can bring it out of the integral. We are going to have pi times the integral from negative r to r. This is going to be the radius squared minus x squared dx. Let's solve this together. pi times the antiderivative of r squared, which is a constant, is going to be r squared times x. And the antiderivative of negative x to the power of 2 is 1 over 3 x to the power of 3. So we have pi times r to the power of 2 times r, that's going to be r, substitute for x, minus 1 over 3 times r to the power of 3. And we have to subtract the lower bound. So we have to subtract. Let's do yellow this time. So we have yellow right there. This is going to be r squared times negative r. So times negative r. Minus 1 over 3 times negative r to the power of 3. And we can close the expression right there. We have pi times r to the power of 2 times r is r to the power of 3 minus 1 over 3 r to the power of 3 and minus whatever is in here. So r squared times negative r is negative r cubed. And this is going to be plus 1 over 3 r to the power of 3. And let's close the bracket now. We are almost done. We are close to finishing. This is r3 minus 1 over 3 r to the power of 3. This is plus r3 minus 1 over 3 r to the power of 3. 
So R cube plus R cube is 2 R cube. Negative 1 over 3 R to the power of 3 minus the same number is going to be 2 over 3 R to the power of 3. So we can turn this into a fraction. That's going to be 6 over 3 times the radius cube minus 2 over 3 times the radius cube. And so if you subtract these two fractions, 6 minus 2 is going to be 4. So we have pi times 4 divided by 3 times the radius to the power of 3. And the answer is 4 divided by 3 times pi times the radius to the power of 3. And that is the answer to the volume of the sphere. So I just showed you and proved to you that the volume of a sphere is V is equal to 4 divided by 3 times pi times the radius cube using integration.